Sometimes you may find that the onboard switches in your Morningstar controller are not enough for your needs, but fret not because the MC6 and MC8 allow you to affordably add more switches. Hey what's up guys, great to see you here and I hope you're having a good day. Today we're going to go through how to add external switches to your Morningstar MIDI controllers and find out what these extra switches can do for you. Let's begin with what switches you need. External switches for pedals are commonly known as auxiliary switches or just aux switches in short. They are common, inexpensive and come in all shapes and sizes. The most important thing you need to know is that your aux switches have to be momentary, also known as non-latching. Normally open, that means the switch is open when not pressed and be able to connect to your MIDI controller via a stereo quarter inch TRS cable. You can easily purchase aux switches from your favorite switch makers. We've linked two of our favorites, Analog Endeavors and American Loopers in the description down below, so you can check them out if you're interested. These are not affiliate links and these companies don't even know we are mentioning them here. We just feel that they are well made, fairly priced and look great. But if you don't want to spend to get a pre-made one, you can also make one yourself using the schematic found in our manual like we've done with this one. We've also linked the schematic down below. Each port on the MC6 and MC8 allows you to add up to 3 external switches. This means that you can add up to 6 switches on the MC6 and 12 on the MC8. So let's go ahead and connect our aux switches to our MIDI controller. Once you've connected your switches, you'll need to enter the global settings menu to decide what you want the switches to do. There are two options, aux and fixed. When you select aux, your external switches will behave exactly like your onboard switches, giving you more programmable switches. Take note that on the MC6, your aux switches will simply control the presets on page 2 of each bank. While on the MC8, your first 6 aux switches allow you to add 6 additional presets to each bank, giving you a total of 22 presets per bank. This is made possible due to the MC8's larger memory capacity. The following 6 aux switches connected to the MC8 will allow you to control presets on page 2. Now moving on to the fixed switch option. Selecting fixed switch will automatically make your connected switches function as bank up and bang down switches. This allows you to conveniently scroll through your banks without needing to do any programming and your third switch will automatically be a toggle page switch. Fixed switch 1 and fixed switch 2 options have your bank up and down switches reversed so you can achieve the correct bank up and down switch positions regardless of how your external switches are wired. And that's it for today's video, it's a really quick one but we hope it's been useful. And if you found it useful, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. We have some new exciting things in store and can't wait to show you soon. We'll see you in the next video.